Chatham County Public Schools will soon have its first black Board of Education president. Uh, this week, election officials certified Roger Moss as the winner of the board president election. At our Marvis Herring spoke one-on-one -on -one with Moss just a little while ago. Marvis, you asked about his vision for improving the district. Greg, I did. And Roger Moss says everyone deserves a quality education no matter where they live in the county. He's focused on improving academic performance and access for all students. Education affects everything. It affects economic development. It affects affordable housing. It affects crime. Roger Moss knows the importance a classroom plays in a child's life. As someone who attended segregated schools until high school, he's excited to break barriers as the first black Board of Education president for Chatham County Schools. But he wants the district to make history for its excellent performance. We all agree that all of our kids deserve a great education. But I want to take it further. All of our kids deserve a world-class education. I want Chatham County to be known for the best educated kids in America, in the world. Moss says right now 70% of students are not performing at grade level in math or reading. He says the expectation for all students should be above that mark. Proficient is just, that's a base. Yeah. I want our kids succeeding, and I think they can. But we have to have that attitude for every student at every school. Transportation is also on his mind. 5,000 students currently have no access to school bus routes. That's according to Moss. We need to fix that because the kids that are not afforded bus service are kids that are in choice schools. And these are schools that these kids did amazing work to get into. And some of them are not able to attend because of lack of transportation. Roger Moss co-founded Savannah's Children's Choir, and he also helped create Savannah Classical Academy, which is a public charter school in this area. He will officially take office as Board of Education president in January. And when you talk to Marvis, you can feel that he has a passion for education. Thank you so much for the news from Marvis Herring reporting there tonight. Uh, tonight we're learning.